Um, Phoebe Marsh, I'm 18. Casey Asher, I'm 6. Iona Blatting, I'm 12. Emily Simpson, and I'm 5. Chloe Steeples, I'm 19. Uh, Lacey Dyer, I'm 16. Lily Stafford, 2. And Molly Hay Green, <coughs> 3. So my son played for Ross Street Juniors and my husband was a coach and um, they did 13 seasons together. Both my sons play, uh, my oldest son is in the under 12s and my younger son has just started the under 7s. At the beginning there was um, a coach called Oliver who wanted to set up a girls team um, and I came and helped him by just being another adult um, when he was starting out with just literally a handful of young girls. This then snowballed into where we are now which is a team of under 13 girls, the Ravens, um, but in pretty much every age group from the 13s downwards, we have some girls playing in the teams. What's it like playing with our girls football team? It's good because I... If you play with boys, then a lot of the time, like, they don't, like, pass and stuff, whereas, like, it's quite, like, an equal team and stuff. Oh, I like it because I like going against the boys and then, like, because I feel like it makes us stronger. I like it because, like, all the girls can join together and not be afraid what they can and can't do. Um, it's good because we can support each other and also, like, work harder together. It's good because, like, then you, like, know everybody and you, like, feel more confident like comfortable and like confident in what you do. Yeah, I agree with all them. Like it's like someone you know and it's someone you can relate to and you're on the same position. It's good. But like when we play against them in friendlies and stuff, I feel like we always go a lot harder against our own team because we know like their strengths and weaknesses. It's more enjoyable to play with your friends because like you know their strengths so like you can work together more. Like you get together and you all know that you can do really well with each other. I just found it really fun because it's also like a really good thing to do but you also get to have fun with it as well and it's like just like we all get along really well and yeah. I just think every girl should have a choice in what they want to do in life so they can't have nobody tell them not to do it or to do it. That's really it. Would you carry on playing football professionally or? Um, I don't think so. I think I'll keep playing it for the sport and stuff but I don't think I'll carry on professionally. I think it's definitely an option and I absolutely love football so yeah, I think maybe, yeah. Um, well yeah, I'd like to keep on doing it for a while. Same, but like maybe not as a profession. I'm Callie Patterson and I'm number 10. Uh, Kelvin Patterson, I'm one of the coaches. What's it like having your dad be a coach? Uh, it's okay, though it goes a bit hard on me, not gonna lie. Dog. It's hard work not going hard on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this be, question. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, all, it, all parents think I'm rough on you, so, well, you might as well so it's not it's nice to have him on the team and all the girls respect him and everything like that, but it's hard to respect him as a as a dad when he's playing there shouting at you, telling him to do stuff and I'm like, would you just shush for a minute? <laughs> but other than that, he's a really good coach and he, he definitely does help the team out a lot. Sorry girls. <laughs> Emily, Cordelia, Tasha, Lacey, Chloe, May. Oh, look at it, take a touch, go, call it down there. Well done. Lacey, Chloe, Lacey, Chloe, Lacey, Chloe, Lacey, Chloe, Lacey, Chloe. Can you tell me anything about the very historical game that happened a year ago? Yeah, it was about, it was about a year ago, it was last October. Um, and it, I think it was the first ever all girls match in the Huddersfield League's 50 year history. Yeah. Um, so it was huge for, for everyone and we were just delighted to be part of it and the girls were really excited. Um, and we had a huge turnout, loads yeah. of supporters and the match went really well. We, they played the socks off, did the girls. Momentous really, I would say. There was um, people from the committee, from. Huddersfield League, we were there, um, our committee supported it, we had a tea and coffee stall, um, we had a young, the refs were all young, we had a female, ref, we yeah, had a female, female ref, ref. Um, two of our older players were the linesmen, so it was proper club 
um, event really. It was it was really, really good. We enjoyed it, yeah, didn't we? Well, yeah. And to say we started twelve months before that, the girls had never played. So a lot of the boys they all start at four and they come up through the ranks from four. These girls started at eleven and twelve. Um, and they and first time literally they'd all played together and it was the first girls match and it was brilliant. It was just brilliant to see that actually yeah. the girls' football is coming on so much now. Well, well, I'll have some pops in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your inspiration to play football? Dad. He got me into football, definitely. What about you? Well, so many people inspire, inspire me to play football. I've just loved it since I were, well, about four or five years old, as soon as I could kick a ball. And I had to re retire, so I got her so involved. So he decided to <laughs> hit himself in the goalpost and break his collarbone. So <laughs> I want my daughter to experience the same problems in life. So you want me to break my collarbone too? No pain, no pain. <laughs> I'm Chloe Kelly because she's inspirational and always like on the game. Well, it's not really like a football player, but it's my dad because like he's got me into football and also I own her as well. Um, I'm Joe and Anna because um, he saved an amazing penalty and it's just someone to look up to. In the middle, yellow, come on, you need to move. Oh, well done, Tash. Oh, Take a shot. Take a shot. I don't think it's about coaching just a women's team. It's coaching people that want to play football and every one of them wants to play football. And the difference between boys and girls is definitely the fact that girls will get up and fight a lot harder than boys will. They won't spend as much time on the floor rolling around. And they'll just work together as a team a lot more. There's no, no sulking and it's a lot happier place, a lot happier environment.